it smells kind of like medical. All right, so now I look really glossy and oily. Hi guys, my name is Jada Jones and I am a lifestyle content creator here on YouTube as well as Instagram. Today I am doing a fun little video for Glowish, which I am so excited about because they sent me a product. I will show you guys that right now. I was sent the Peter Thomas Roth Cucumber Gel Mask. Cute little packaging. I love the little cool cucumber type feel. I already took the product out of the box, so here it is, and I have refrigerated it because I want it to feel cold on my skin. Let's go ahead and talk about my skin. So Glowish sent me a skin quiz where I had to kind of fill in what my skin needs are, and for me personally, I have really dry skin. It really doesn't feel the best, you know? So I really like super hydrating products. I'm all into hyaluronic acid. Acid, stuff like that things that feel like a cooling serum type thing and I am so happy that the skincare provider chose to send me a mask right now it looks really glowy and that's honestly because I just use pretty good products that help keep my skin intact but I do know that recently the past month I did travel somewhere so my skin got super super dry super irritated and it was really hard to come back from that so now I have just really tried to incorporate a lot of water back into my system really trying to hydrate and feel really super good you know and also I'm just sweating so right now we're looking pretty great <laughs> alrighty so today I actually did a pretty hefty workout to say the least and I also learned a bit of choreography so I was sweating a ton. I don't know if I'm the only one but my skin reacts to sweat so badly. I don't know what it is but it makes my skin feel so tight and irritated. I also struggle with eczema so that's something that I should go ahead and preface. Let's go ahead and read about this product. It's a cucumber gel mask like I said earlier and it says this ultra gentle gel helps soothe, hydrate, and detox the look of skin with botanical extracts of cucumber, papaya, chamomile, pineapple, sugar maple, sugar cane, orange, lemon, bilberry, and aloe vera. That's a lot. Excellent for soothing the look of skin after sun exposure, peels, waxing, facials, and extractions. Directions. Apply a generous coat to clean skin. Allow mask to remain on for 10 minutes. Rinse off with cool water for a very cool treatment refrigerate product, which I already did. And for an intensive treatment, apply a thin layer and leave overnight. They said use two to three times a week or daily for extra hydration. So I actually want to kind of try this out daily comes with a little, oh, my mom always tells me, use what's on here first. So this looks like a pretty fun mask. It is jelly consistency, almost like aloe vera. Whoa, okay. We're just gonna put a generous amount on cause we'll do 10 minutes tonight and then tomorrow I'll put it on during the day or something. That's so cold. I used to do this all the time where I put aloe vera on my face because I would feel irritated but i'm glad that this mask has that same thing i actually use something similar to this already it's by dr jart it's their water sleeping mask i use it during the day to hydrate and provide extra moisture because it really does work well like a little bit of it works really well with moisturizer not gonna lie it is really cold and then after it's kind of starts tingling i don't know if that's just because my skin's a little bit irritated but it is tingling hopefully my skin doesn't turn red or anything all right so now i look really <laughs> glossy and oily here is the survey that i had to fill out it's this cute little thing they also ask what your skincare routine is at the moment just to kind of assess what they can provide to you give to you they just kind of want to really get to know your skin before providing you a product which i love a lot skincare to me is a very important part of my routine i've been doing skincare ever since middle school before middle school even and everyone really liked my glowy skin they were like how do you get your skin so clear i never really struggled with acne which that's a blessing but also I really do think that it's because I really took really good care of my skin growing up. I always made sure to moisturize every single day, always put moisturizer underneath my makeup, always trying to make sure my skin is hydrated, especially because I have sensitive skin. A lot of products don't react too well to when I add new products and foreign products all the time on my face. So I'm really careful with the things that I put on my face and make sure that it's super basic, make sure that it probably has like no artificial fragrances. Um, let me see. 
is this artificial fragrance or is it? I'm pretty sure it's like the actual thing. There is coloring in it, which is something that I don't necessarily like. I kind of wish that it was just clear and they left it clear. But with that being said, there is no extra fragrances. I'm just really making sure to check. Yeah, there are no fragrances. It's really just from the extracts of the plants, which is great. Also, I'm kind of curious. I smell it, but what does it actually really smell like? It smells kind of like medical. It smells like, <laughs> that's so weird. It's kind of like a clean medical like doctor's office, you know? That's what it smells like. It's like a clean smell. It's not super like fruity or fragrancy or anything, which I like. I've noticed that the tingling has went away. So I really do think it was because my skin was hot, the product was cold, then it started getting hot and then it started getting tingly. I'm pretty sure that's why. So it feels really good right now. So I think I have a couple more minutes left. So I'm just gonna keep waiting. I'm pretty sure that I've heard of this brand, Peter Thomas Roth, but I just never bought anything from them. This is the first product that I've used from them and I'm actually a I'm a fan. I like it. Um, hopefully when I wash it off, my skin feels more hydrated, but I will let you guys know that once it's washed off. All right, guys. So I think it's been about 10 minutes and I'm going to go ahead and wash it off with cool water. Hopefully this feels good. Ooh. Wow. Wow. I'm just going to go ahead and fan off my face because I feel like those hydration extracts can just kind of stay on my skin and it won't really do any harm. So this is what my skin looks like. Really glowy, really fun and hydrated. It looks hydrated. So first impressions, it feels really, really nice on your skin. It's exactly how I thought it would feel, exactly how I thought it would work. Process was super simple. This does feel a little bit different and I'm not sure if it's because I put a lot at one time because usually for the other one, I only put a thin layer and go to sleep. But for this, it really just feels like hydrated. It's not sticky. My skin doesn't feel sticky. It feels really just hydrated. It doesn't even feel like I need a moisturizer on top, but I'm still going to put moisturizer on anyway. Moisturizer of choice today is just going to be some Aveeno, super simple ingredients. I know it doesn't irritate my skin, but yeah, that was my first impression. I really love it. And I'm going to go ahead and check in with you guys tomorrow in the morning, just to see if my skin feels still hydrated, if it looks really bright in the morning. So you guys will get an update from me come morning time, but that's it for today. And I will see you guys throughout the week. Hello, it is day two. It is the morning of day two. I literally just woke up. So you're getting the full details. Yeah, my skin feels really, really nice. It doesn't feel tight. It doesn't feel irritated or anything. It just feels like it's ready to start on another day. When I do my makeup routine, I'm going to use a thin layer of it because even though it's a mask, it's really important for my skin to stay hydrated. So for me, it's not even like a mask. It's almost like a serum. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and use that later today and I will see you guys later. I'm in my kitchen because I have this refrigerated, but I'm going out and I'm just going to put on a thin layer and like that's it. There's a literally a thin layer still left on the top of this jar. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that now. I have no face makeup on by the way. But yeah, that's all I did. I'm just gonna have that on. It's again, it's not sticky or anything. So it feels really nice and easy and comfortable. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab my mask because we're heading out today and yeah. All right guys, so I did a workout today and my skin is really hydrated, still feels super glowy. I do have one blemish right there, but that was from yesterday, but my skin looks so good. My skin also doesn't feel trapped and super like heavy since there is no makeup on, just feeling super glowy. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a shower and I will see you guys tonight when I apply a thin layer to go to bed. Oh, that feels so good. Oh. Kind of burns. I'm gonna wash it off with cold water later. So I just applied this stuff on and it actually kind of burns. And I think that's because I did just shave my skin, but this mask has really been doing its job. I'm gonna use basically what's left on this. It's a little base. That feels so good. Putting that on overnight. This might be a little bit excessive to you guys using the mask so much, but honestly, I treat it as a moisturizer and really like it as a quote unquote moisturizer slash feel good hydration thing. I will come back to you guys tomorrow and do my little shindig with it again. Hey guys, it's day six. I just got out of the shower. I had makeup on. I just didn't take it off in the shower, even though I should have, but I just didn't because I want to show you guys what my skin looked like with makeup, showing that my skin's actually more oily today. And I think when I use hydrating products, my skin in turns produces like oil, I'm pretty sure. And yeah, so I'm not gonna use the mask again tonight because now I think my skin is overly hydrated. I'm not really sure. This is not 
not a vibe. Look at this. This is so painful. My skin never ever looks like this, but when it does, it's because of an irritation. This is what it looks like after it's healed a little bit. It looks so much worse earlier. I want to go ahead and clarify that it is not from the mask at all. It is 100% due to weather slash uh, allergy based uh, flare up. So basically I have scheduled headshots for tomorrow and I have had them scheduled for like the past two weeks. I called her a few minutes ago and was like, hey, I think I might have to reschedule for next week. My skin's super bright red and it feels tight and just in pain and I want to go ahead and clarify that I also did use this like twice more today because I really just wanted to hydrate as much as possible and then I also put ice I put on oatmeal like I really wanted to like make my skin feel good and it just doesn't like I can tell that the texture it may not look that bad from far away like honestly I could vibe out from like back there but at the same time these are headshots so they need to be like close up and on my face and I don't feel my 100% confident self. And of course, it's going to be the one day before headshot. I'm not wearing the mask to go to bed, but you guys can see how textured and irritated my skin just is. And that's not normal for Jada Jones. Like that doesn't happen very often. So when it does, it's really painful and it hurts. We're just gonna go ahead and ride this wave out and I'm just going to get some beauty rest. I also voted today, so definitely vote if you guys are in the United States. Hopefully in the morning, we'll see what goes on. Hi guys, it's day nine and I am slowly healing from yesterday. I'm so glad that my skin looks so much better. It is slowly going away. It still hurts, still painful, but it is way less red than it was yesterday. Today, I took the day just to fully recover. I didn't use the mask at all just because I wanted to use as basic products as possible so I'm not irritating my skin. I will use it about two more times sometime throughout this week just to give it a little bit more of a test run. And yeah, then I will give you guys my final thoughts. But as for right now, this is what my skin looks like and I will see you guys when I next use the mask. Hello guys, it's been an all day of editing and just sitting at home and really just working. My skin is getting better and I'm so happy about it. It is day 12 and and we are looking better. I didn't record yesterday because there was no point, but I did do kind of like a pan on my face for day 10 so you guys could just kind of see what it looked like. Again, my skin's just been healing throughout the week, but right now it feels in a good position, dry enough to do the mask again. So I'm gonna go ahead and do it really quickly and I will be back when I put it on. I can tell that my skin is trying to really heal itself and get rid of all of the dead sin, sin scales skin cells from my irritation this past week so hopefully this mask also makes it easier for all of that to just kind of come off it's not so obvious on camera but again something i can feel oh this feels so good i'm gonna put this on for a couple days so i'm glad i can do it today and while this is setting i'm just gonna brush my teeth and do all the things i think my skin will definitely be replenished after this all right guys, this is the last time I'm gonna see you guys before day 14 where I tell you guys just my overall review and overall thoughts about this product. I don't know how much more I can say about it, but I will definitely give you guys my overall review come Sunday. So I will see you guys on Sunday. Hello guys, today is day 14 of the try-on for the Peter Ross Thomas cucumber gel mask. That is a mouthful, so forgive me. I wanted to go ahead and give my final thoughts on the whole product since it has been a full two weeks of me using it consistently. Um, I know that you guys know that my skin completely erupted towards the beginning of this week and, and my skin's better again. So with that being said, I am so, so glad that it has kind of calmed down. I did manage to use the mask twice more after everything happened. And I wanna say that this product is seriously one of my favorite things ever. I really love that hydrating consistency that this product has. It really just does make my skin feel so much more alive after after putting it on. I know that I will definitely be using it more during the winter as that's when my skin's going to need it the most. My final thoughts, I will rate it a, I will say a four and a half out of five. And the reason being is because I just wish that it didn't have green dye in it. Um, that's so picky because, you know, like it's still a good product. But I do say that because I just have such sensitive skin. Good thing this didn't erupt it or anything or make it bad. But um, it just doesn't need to be green, even though I know they were going for the whole like cucumber vibe like you know it's cute whatever i know someone else wouldn't have rated it that but um it would definitely be a five out of five if it just didn't have those dyes in it because it really is a good product in my opinion yeah i love it so much and i do recommend it to people who have really dry skin it even works on my sensitive skin so i really enjoy it a lot and think that if you have sensitive skin it 
should be fine on your skin as well. If you guys like tan or do any of that kind of stuff either, this is a really moisturizing way to feel hydrated afterwards on your face. Um, even though I don't tan my face at all, I just think that that's dangerous. But if you guys do choose to do that, I know that this will help a lot. Since I put on makeup for like shows and things like that, when I'm performing and stuff, I know that my skin gets really dry and really irritated from all of the makeup products. So I will definitely start using this when I do shows again um, because I just need my skin to not feel really dry and grimy. This is a really good like pick me up refresher product that I seriously do enjoy. I really enjoy doing this and thank you guys so much to Glowish, the whole team. You guys are wonderful. Be sure to subscribe to this Glowish channel. It's freaking awesome and you guys are going to get the inside scoop on everyone's try-ons and reviews, which is actually really freaking helpful when you guys are wanting to search for products and see a real non-sponsored kind of try-on. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Take care and thanks for having me, Glowish.